Hello, today we're going to be studying how the kidney can act as an endocrine organ. The kidney is able to secrete two types of hormones that we will be studying today. Those are called renin and erythropoietin. Now, another name for erythropoietin is EPO. The kidneys secrete renin in response to decreased renal blood flow or sympathetic stimulation. The kidneys secrete EPO when they detect low O2 levels within kidney tissue. EPO works by stimulating red blood cell production within bone marrow. This occurs through a process called erythropoiesis. Once stimulated, red blood cell production increases. In turn, this increases oxygen vascular content. Now, the kidneys are also able to secrete an enzyme called renin. Renin is an enzyme with catalytic ability. Renin is secreted by specialized cells within the kidney called juxtaloglomerular cells. Juxtaloglomerular cells are involved with tubular glomular control. Now, the liver normally produces a plasma protein called angiotensinogen. Angiotensinogen is a precursor to angiotensin 1, meaning before you can have angiotensin 1, something must convert angiotensinogen into it. Angiotensinogen is catalytically cleaved by renin to produce angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme, also known as ACE. ACE has two primary functions, converting angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2 and also to degrade bradykines and other vasoactive peptides. Now, angiotensin II is a very strong vasopressor. Angiotensin II also stimulates the release of a mineral corticoid from the zona glomerulosa called aldosterone. Angiotensin II also stimulates the posterior pituitary to release antidiuretic hormone also known as ADH. Aldosterone causes increased H2O and sodium absorption by kidneys, sweat glands, pancreas, and digestive system. Now, one thing to note is that elevated levels of ACE are found in sarcoidosis and hyperthyroidism. There are some common ACE drugs that are used to control um, the amount of ACE enzyme that's produced. Some of those ACE inhibitor drugs are Lotensin, Vasotec, and Acupril. Now, ADH causes the insertion of aquaporins on specific receptors called V1 and V2. V2 receptors are located on the basolateral membrane of the collecting tubule in the kidneys. The activation of V2 receptors causes the activation of adenylylcyclase. It acts through secondary messengers, which in turn causes the integration of aquaporins. This allows for the increased absorption of sodium and water. Now, there are different types of aquaporins. The ones we are specifically talking about are called aquaporins 2 or AQP2. Now, when with the aquaporin 2 proteins, when they're properly formed within the membrane, they are able to respond to antidiuretic hormone. When stimulated by ADH, the body's urine will be more concentrated. 
mutations of the aquaporin-2 gene have been associated with nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. So, aldosterone acts directly on the distal tubules and collecting ducts of the nephron. This causes sodium conservation and potassium excretion. This in turn will increase water retention and this will cause an increase in blood volume and blood pressure.